scorecard, cheat code 5.8B. Okay, so what is this cheat talking about? Remember that 5.8A, B, and C are all about graphing ordered pairs. They're all about the coordinate plane, about knowing how to graph. Okay, so we had this vocabulary. You guys see 5.A, B, and C, um, 5.8A, B, C. I'm going to skip it. If you guys need the extra help with vocabulary, go to 5.A, number one. That video, we go over it thoroughly. So, when naming an ordered pair on the coordinate graph, which is the correct form? Always, guys. X, Z, X, Y. What comes first in the alphabet? X, Y, Z. X always comes first. Okay, so let me give you guys a visual. All right, a different kind of illustration. So here's our x value, here's our y value, uh, y value. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, if you go to a hotel, is the elevator here outside of the building? No, the elevator is inside of the building. Here's our building. You have to go into the building and then you go up, right? You go in and up. In and up. That's our graphing dance. In and up. X and Y. X and Y. Every time. So you go into the building and then up. X comes before Y. X, then Y. All right. Number two. Again, look at our compass. We got a compass, so we got to know what that is. Sarah draws a triangle on a grid paper. Okay. If the vertices... Geometry vocabulary, the vertices are the points. If the vertices are moved three units east and two units north, where will she draw, where, the new, where will the new vertices be? So we need to go east and north. Three units east, two units north. So let's go one, two, three east and two north. One, two. Okay. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. So here is our new triangle. You have to draw, if you're moving a shape, you have to draw each vertice. Okay, I, I like to make hoops around the, on the lines just to, so I can count and make sure it's clear and I can see. So here's our triangle. Okay, and where are the points at? 12, 8, okay? Uh, 12, 8, okay? And this is 10, 12. Oh, look, 10, 12. And this is 8, 8. There you go. That's what I would have done. That, that is how I did it. I, I would find the points, and then I'd just I'd pick a point, and I'd see what it is, and then I would circle it. Look, this is 12, 8. This is 10, 12 versus 12, 10. That's wrong. 10, 12 is correct. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Okay. So that one is wrong. And 8, 10, nah. 8, 12 is wrong. There you go. B, G is our answer. Billy will place W at the coordinate 7, 6. Okay, so let's just do 7, 6 really quick. X comes before Y, X and then Y. So we'll do 7 on the X, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 6. So go all the way up to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is W. Billy will then circle the point that is two units to the right and two units down. So what is two units to the right? One, two, and two units down. One, two, that is line M, point M. Which point will Billy circle? He's gonna circle point M. Man. So with coordinates and with this particular, there's multi multiple steps. And we had to graph seven six, and then we had to move to the right, and we had to move down. Take it one step at a time, one step at a time, always. 
Okay. The grid below can be used to represent Gilbert's favorite restaurant. Gilbert is sitting at a table located at 1-6. Okay. X or XY, right? 1-6. So that's his table. He walks three units to the right, one, two, three, and four units down, one, two, three, four, to the bar, to the salad bar. Which ordered pair represents the location of the salad bar? What point is that? So we're at four, two. Look, four, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, because that's it. Thanks for tuning in. We got one more teak that's talking about coordinate plane and graphing and the grid and coordinate coordinate grid. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.